It's Dave, how's it going? Okay, so let's see if this thing is working. So sorry, just bear with me as I get this stream started. But I hope your day's going good. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, alright, cool, yeah, it's working. So, um, hello there, my name is David. Dave, the Jaded Rabbit, whatever have you. Thank you so much for watching this video, God bless you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join me in a discussion regarding Profile XP in Mortal Kombat 11. As well, this is uh, like uh, really tailored to how I go about grinding Towers of Time, because Towers of Time, with the new Augment system, the way that you play Towers of Time, well at least for me, in the most optimal way, has changed significantly. Whereas in the old Augment system, I would rely on the AI to do a lot of things for me, now it's just a lot more easier and quicker to just go in there with some Augments and get quick victories. Okay, so this is also an expansion upon my previous build with Kung Lao. All of the augments are the same as the build uh, from Augmented Soul Burst Kung Lao video. These are all basically the same augments, but there is some difference, and we will talk about that. So, the big difference here is that if you have any level 4 augments, level 4 augments definitely help you with getting that experience quicker. One of the requirements requirements of getting XP is also to deal the maximum damage in a combo and you do this by doing the most damage possible and the augments factor into this so you want to use the highest tier augments that you've got on Kung Lao. Kung Lao is able to really utilize all of these uh, offensive augments very well because of one special elder rank Jinsei augment that he has. So that augment is this Kindred Spirit, and if you have it, you will be dealing increased damage at level 4, as well you will have some fancy invincible armor that is very hard to break. Only characters with armor breaks are really going to be your tough, tough time, but I mean, just using this the way we are using this, armor break isn't really a concern. So, the other augment that is changing here is this augment death dealer. I was running first position on my previous Kung Lao build. The only real change that we're making here is this death dealer, because it's applicable across all rounds of Towers of Time. Okay, so that being said, so these are the augments that we're working with. The things that are really doing lots of damage is what we need to go flawless and get us our brutality very easy. Kung Lao has access to easy one-shots and easy brutalities with these augments, as well as running spiritual guidance. This is all centered around spiritual guidance um, and this kindred spirit spirit augment. Really, one of the best augments in the game. It's very top tier. I would say top tier with cold efficiency. There's some very top tier augments that people should grind for because these augments are very useful. Okay, so I'm, I, I hope I kind of explain some of the augments here, but to really demonstrate to you what we're talking about, we actually have to go into the towers. Okay, so now that we're in the tower, the tower isn't going to refresh until we back out. Okay, hey Santino, hey the awesome chat, hey Brian, how's it going? Dave, what do you think the classic Femme Fatale skin pack will include? Not too sure. Hey, expired baked potatoes, how's it going, my friend? Thank you for joining. Okay, so, the augments that I showed you are what we're going to be using to do a couple of things. A, get lots of points. B, complete these towers really quickly. C, unlock brutal difficulty. D, get us as much XP. 
as much XP. So let's get into this match here with Kung Lao. So if you don't really like grinding Towers of Time, I would say that investing in Kung Lao and his augments is definitely beneficial. So we are going to use a consumable here. And this consumable is not necessary, but this is what really allows you to get lots of XP. It's called the White Lotus Challenger's Medallion. This thing doubles your profile XP and is the only consumable that does something like this. Previous, in the old augment system, there were augments that would boost your profile XP. So gaining profile XP with certain characters like Shang Tsung or Jade, it was, it was pretty easy, pretty good. Um, but now, in the new augment system, getting that profile XP boost is kind of hard. So we do that by going flawless quickly. Okay, so that took us two seconds. We probably could have took, like, one second. Okay, so I'm waiting there in the second, like, round to really charge up the spiritual guidance. So Kindred Spirit allows you to charge up the move to deal more damage. And when you deal more damage, like I was saying, it increases the max combo damage. So you see there, my max combo damage is 532. That's because I charged it up just a little bit. Charging it up just a little bit really means that you're getting a lot more points with that max combo damage. As well, when you get the consumable bonus, you're doubling everything. So suddenly getting 3600 XP is very easy. Very easy. Not to mention we're going flawless both rounds. When you go flawless both rounds, you get 500 XP. That's better than going flawless only one round because you only get 200. But if you go flawless both rounds, you get 500 XP. And you might also notice that I'm not mercying here. Mercies don't affect profile XP. So we're not going for the mercy, we're just going for the flat out brutality, which gives us 50 XP for the finishers. Now, Let's let's do that again. That was pretty easy. I mean, like, I'm trying to explain it. And, you know, if you're not explaining it, and you're just doing it, I probably could have killed Jade and Cetrion in that time it took to explain. Um, but the loading screens are definitely, like, something that takes away from your ability to really grind with these augments. Damn that loading screen. <laughs> Stupid Jade. <laughs> oh my god. Round two, fight! <laughs> okay, I didn't charge it up there, darn. I should've... Okay, so that's the thing about Kindred Spirit. So when you use Kindred Spirit at level four, your, your, your controller will give you a little vibration, and you'll feel like when it's fully charged. So as you see there, I had less time in the round, so I got like one extra XP for in the time remaining but my max combo damage was a little bit less. So if you notice the differences like in the max combo damages, it's it's really dependent on you really charging up in that second round with Kindred Spirit. So like this is all very like super easy once you do get this Kindred Spirit augment. And even if you don't have like level fours of all the other augments that I was uh, using in the build, like Crazy Pain, Fast Burn, Bill of Health, level threes will work just fine. It'll just take a little bit more like time. And it'll take like maybe two of these spiritual bursts to accomplish what I'm doing. So we go for the, the, the horizontal spiritual burst there, because it just gets the brutality off really nicely. And that's what we want all the time, to get like those nice finishers. Not only do they give us lots of points, but they also give us XP. XP. And um, if you have like a knack for playing Combat League, you could totally combo this into doing like like matches in combat league to get like a two win streak or so like if you get a two win streak then you're gonna see a 15 percent increase 
and all of the base numbers that appear in the XP screen. Okay, so that took us, like, no effort, really. And we probably could have done that quicker. Um, 13 seconds, and we're number 50, right? Like, and this is not even on Brutal Difficulty. I didn't even have Brutal Difficulty unlocked. So, like, at this point, I could go in here with my Frost build and get, like, as many points as I can with Frost, with all of her fatal blows. But the idea is, well, like, Kung Lao's just gonna kill the people really quickly. So Kung Lao has just become a super utility build because he's just got that one shot right out of the box plus that brutality, plus all of these flawless ramps. So, uh, it's very easy to accumulate points, complete the towers quickly, get in the top 100, and move on. Like, other people are doing, like, infinite mercies to get lots of points. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so as you see there, in the first round, I go for the upward soul burst, because that leaves the opponent, um, like, nearby. Because you want to hit him with all of the hits of the other horizontal, regular soul burst. So, like, if you're not familiar with soul burst, it's down, back, circle. That puts you into the stance. And then when you hit triangle or two, or, yeah, down, back, four, puts you in the stance. When you hit two, it puts the soul, a soul burst upward, and it leaves the opponent close. So that in the next round, you can get all of your hits off with the regular soul burst that goes across the stage. Okay, so, let's kill Jackie. <laughs> All of this is really easy to just kill these opponents. And I mean, there is some sort of, like, inherent grinding involved, because you've got to get the stage, the, the character- Oh shoot, she, she swapped sides. Oh shoot, she swapped sides. Okay, so that's a, that's a, that's a problem for me. I'm not that good with uh, opponents that swap sides. Okay, hopefully we can just keep her over there. Darn, Jackie. So yeah, so it is possible to, like, uh, not go flawless. Totally possible. But there we went flawless. Yay. Um, so, one of the downfalls of the build is if your opponent swaps sides, you're gonna have to cancel out of the stance. And hopefully go back into the stance, like, facing the right side. So if you're really good at that, it's possible to stay flawless in those situations. Um, on Brutal Difficulty, all of this becomes a little bit more tough. Because um, the opponents are, I find, more likely to use their armor break in Brutal Difficulty. Or, or maybe that's just, like, how I experience the game. But this is just, like, my anecdotal evidence. Okay, so let's kill this Jax here. Whee! All of these towers, I mean, like... And I feel like it's quicker than the AI, right? Because, like, when you're relying on the AI, not only are you not getting uh, enough points, you're getting less points because your AI is playing. And plus, the AI just, I don't know, it never seems to go flawless sometimes. You can control everything precisely when you, um, use these augments. Using these augments make it just so easy. Okay, so let's get this tower done. Hopefully we've placed again in the top 100. But if not, that's okay. We didn't go flawless in that first round with Jackie. Darn. It's very important to go flawless. Perfection is the key. Okay, just dead. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm. I was waiting for like you know sometimes they block right. During that block, but look at that block damage. Whoa. Crazy block damage. Um, yeah, not not getting those, like, one-second finishes, it's okay. As long as you stay flawless, that's the most important thing. Because the flawless victory definitely offsets the points that you may lose from, like, those extra seconds of, like, going back into the stance. Okay, so we unlock Brutal Difficulty again. So now we have the opportunity to go for more points. But let's see how we did in... Okay, so we're number 43. That took us, like, no, like, thought. No thought, really. 
Lots of frost. Uh, yes, I have to bring my frost here because I feel like frost will be really good. I need my frost to get me more points. But yes, if you're super competitive about points, really, really would, uh, really would recommend checking out my vid about how to grind points for uh, Towers of Time with Frost. Yeah, those really quickly gets you lots of points. Lots of points. Okay, so let's go back to the augments. Let's also check out the comments. I'm glad that we got that tower too, because this tower would not have been that good to demonstrate, uh, Mr. Kung Lao, because, uh, I mean, like, this doesn't have, like, all of those towers where you get all the XP. So you really do get so much XP because of that. So, like, um, what normally would take me, like, weeks to accomplish, I can do very easily if I sit down for, like, I don't know, a couple hours and I really grind, like, a bunch of towers. Like, it's suddenly it's become a lot more like um well worth it well worth the time to grind towers of time because it's easier to get like a lot of things once you get some of these jinsei essence augments namely this one for kung lao it's really super good okay so let's check out the comments um mitsure and boom oh my gosh santino just want to say thanks for all the videos they're super helpful oh my gosh thank you sephiroth when will you play Injustice 2? Not too sure, David. Hey, Dave. Well, questions. What augments do you recommend for that loadout for Kung Lao? Okay. Oh, Santino, you found my secret video. Yes. Um, yes, Santino, you did find my secret video. Oh, my gosh. Um, yes, I did have, like, issues with the YouTube. So I had to appeal to them. And so then they posted up the videos that got taken down. But I didn't want to put them up. I just didn't want to have, like, this, like claim or like whatever against me it's so stupid stupid whatever okay so these are the augments that i'm using for kung lao with the jinsei essence augments you could definitely play around with because i'm not at all relying on these other jinsei essence augments for the effect all i'm needing is this kindred spirit kindred spirit is a magic type like move so that's why we're running here a magic moment and we're using Death Dealer because it provides a solid bonus in all rounds. Like, the other option here, instead of Death Dealer, would be doing something like First Position. But that would make him only good for co-op. But we're really trying to use um, uh, Kang Lao to get lots of XP. And that XP really doubles when you get the white lotus challenger medallion the white lotus challenger medallion is a tower consumable and it doubles your profile xp so it just makes everything just more beneficial as you do it and if you want to do towers of time like let's say you want to get the scarlet skin and you have kindred spirit lying around there's no reason why you can't use this augment to get yourself in the top 100 very easily get yourself lots of points and lots of xp um the other augments here that i have at level three these are places where you can improve if you get the level four the level four is definitely going to help out more we use level four or level three special delivery because we're just relying on special moves and this fast burn here is like an augment that i would rarely use because it takes away from your flawless potential. You take 20% of the damage you deal. However, as you notice, all of that damage is sort of negated by the fact that we have this invincible armor that comes from Kindred Spirit. So we spend a hit of the invincible armor instead of our health, which is great because then we can really get that flawless victory while also not experiencing the drawback of fast burn um only a few character builds do i use fast burn and i'm very happy to use it with kung lao because it has purpose with him um crazy pain is also taking advantage of that invincible armor because you don't see the negative effect if you have 
invincible armor. You won't take any damage. So this increased damage that you would take is just like wiped away. Um, and we really like this level four bill of health. Honestly, this thing like doubles the amount of fun that you have in the game because it doubles the amount of damage that you deal while you are at full health really so much fun to be had with this augment and it allows for really good one-shot potential with kung lao but uh you know if you're just doing regular difficulty regular difficulty is just fine with a level three bill of health here we go. So level three bill of health, you're only getting 75% more damage. Um, that's fine. That's also fine for accomplishing what we're doing with Kung Lao. However, however, okay, so we were doing those like regular towers. I would not recommend using this in like brutal difficulty towers because in brutal difficulty towers, um, well, we don't have any here that we can play right now. But in the Brutal Difficulty Towers, A, you can get more points with Frost. Um, B, well, like, with, there's just more armor breaks going on. And it's really hard to counter that once you've lost any bit of health. So those armor breaks that are more common in Brutal Difficulty, it's just harder to account for just harder to account for especially as you're stuck in the stance waiting to charge up your move you could totally just like take like a, a lethal hit not cool um but the brutal difficulty as well like when you try to run it the odd like the consumable that i was telling you to use uh you can't use it so uh in brutal difficulty situations the white lotus challengers medallion does not work which is so silly i don't understand why so essentially whenever you're in a brutal difficulty situation you're kind of limiting how much profile xp you can gain so if you want to gain the most profile xp the best idea would be to run those like towers full of opponents in towers of time and use this tower consumable the white lotus challengers medallion you can't use it in brutal difficulty so keep that in mind but kuglao works well too in brutal difficulty like it's not like he's not going to work he will work but it's just Round not one. as efficient as cold efficiency frost Kaglao's just, he's just so, he makes everything so, like, funny. I love it. It's so funny. Why on earth? <laughs> Lol. They just die so quickly. So quickly. But as you see there, like, these boss towers, too, are also not a good idea to run multiples of if you're trying to farm profile XP. Because as you see there, a flawless victory here only gets you 200 points. Uh, in a regular two-round match, you would get 500 points, which is a lot more, right? Um, so it's really, really, like, it's really situational where you want to grind for profile XP. You want to use those tower consumables in the best situations. So, like, if you're running low on them, you would want to use them in towers that have, like, five opponents. Or five opponents or more. And that's good. Uh, good numbers. Okay, so I think we beat our high score from before. That's interesting. I guess we've never done this tower in a while. So let's see where we're sitting. We're 240 with two seconds with Kung Lao. Mind you, we're not using like our one-shot Terminator build. One-shot Terminator uh, would take us to, let's see, where he is. And we would get a point score around here if we were using one shot terminator but uh no i guess uh we've got to do this tower with frost yes frost is really good for points not gonna lie frost is really good for points but kung lao's really good for xp 
so I hope that I've demonstrated, like, what are, like, the different ways, what are the different things to consider for getting XP in this game, because it can be super easy. It can totally be super easy. And if I grinded more, my XP would be higher. But I feel like once you find an efficient way of doing it, you don't have to do it so much. So, like, whereas I used to have, like, in the old Augment system, I would just have Towers of Time running in the background of my life all the time, constantly pressing X. But, like, now that I know that the best way of getting, like, this XP, this, um, points, is really just by using these Jinsei Augments, well, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I hope I've convinced you to do similarly. Kong Lao's really a character that I recommend that you grind his character towers for, because there's really good things to experience. Um, hey, Dreda Jones. Hey, look, I'm 29. Oh, wow, 29. Um, Dave, just got another Smoke and Mirrors. I have yet to get that one. Oh, I, I didn't even notice. I don't even... Smoke and mirrors, well, uh, the augments that I want are natural 20. Yo, oh, we've got four! Woo! Okay, so we can really play around with our next co-op carries. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Real Bacon Master, I was just stopping by. Gotta go, have a great day or night. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, guys. Like, uh, please, like, comment, subscribe. Um, how did you give a brutality with only one hit? It's what these augments are. These augments do this, Madonna. Uh, the augments are definitely overpowered. Dave, I'm intrigued. What are the best skins in MK11 for you? Oh gosh, that's really tough. I, you know what? I'm gonna go really out there on a limb. I'm gonna say the, uh, the the skins that like really wowed me the most when I saw them, and I was like, oh my god, skins! It was like the Sigourney Weaver inspired skins for Jackie Briggs. I was like, oh my god, Italians love it. Okay, so VG Master, level four bill of health. Yes, I must have it. And if you're missing any of these like level four generic augments, like I feel like the best way of getting them is grinding stage six character towers. So really getting to those stage sixes and grinding them are super beneficial because this is where I've gotten like all of this stuff, all of this stuff to drop, except for Crazy Pain. I feel like Crazy Pain is kind of more common than the other ones. I think I've got three of them. Yeah, there we go. That's that's a good number. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, um, really, likes, comments, subscribes. If you ever have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Hey, Mike E, Johnny Blade, you're my fave because you're on Twitch. Hey, what's up? A follow on Twitch would be great. It really helps out. But um, yeah, like I really hope that this was helpful, that this was clear. I hope that you have easy victories in Mortal Kombat combat because it's really easy really super possible to do that um also lots of fun but yes stay happy stay safe stay alive yes but until next time bye peace take care